talking about Sandra Schulberg. You know, we've been through so much together and the entire independent film movement, and yet I don't ever think I've had an opportunity to truly express to this remarkable woman how important she was to independent film, to film in the United States, film into the world, and to me personally, and to all the independent filmmakers who benefited from her brilliance and her vision. You know, Leo Tolstoy most very famously said that all great ideas are simple. Here's my idea. If evil people can come together to get what they want, why can't good people come together to achieve what they want? These inspiring words exemplify the extraordinary achievements of this remarkable woman we are honoring today, Sandra Schulberg. In the late 70s, she saw that there was a great need in the United States film world, a black hole in American filmmaking. Hollywood wasn't making films that reflected the truth of our country. So many voices were unheard and ignored. And yet, all over the country, there were many filmmakers working alone and outside the system, trying to get their important stories told. Voices that desperately needed to be heard. Stories about women, African-American stories, Latino stories, regional stories. Films, films that reflected the true face of America. We didn't have any funding. We had no support, nothing. But Sandra felt that the simple act of bringing these filmmakers together <coughs> would create an energy would create sharing, would create networking, and that together, somehow, a movement could happen. And so she called us all together in New York in 1979, and a grassroots organization was formed, the Independent Feature Project. And the results were immediate and explosive, just by the act of coming together and sharing. Through networking and events, somehow, small budgets were found. Distribution was attained. And the list of these early independent filmmakers is impressive. Hester Street by Joan Mecklen Silver, Testament by Lynn Lipman, Girlfriends by Claudia Weil, Smithereens by Susan Seidelman, The War at Home, Glenn Silver and Barry Brown, Gal Young and Victor Nunez, Northern Lights, John Hanson and Rob Nielsen, Alambarista, Robert Young, Last Night at the Alamo, Eagle Pinnell, She's Got a Habit, Spike Lee, Stranger Than Paradise, Jim Jarmish, Brother from Another Planet, John Sayles, Chan is Missing, Wayne Wayne, Imposters, Mark Rappaport, and many, 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 many more films. These films made an immediate impact. They changed the film industry. They changed the United States. And they could never have been made without the energy that was created by the coming together of filmmakers and the creation of the IFP by Sandra Schulberg. I know because I was one of those early independent filmmakers. And the creation of the IFP by Sandra Schulberg made it possible for me to make my film. We were young, we were talented, but we were without a home. And the IFP gave us a home. My film El Norte would never have been made without the IFP. I was desperate to tell a story about refugees from Central America who were fleeing wars in Guatemala to come to the United States, and they would work as undocumented workers. And it was through the IFP and the events of the IFP that I was able to find the funding to make this, to make this film. El Norte became one of the first independent films to have success at the box office. And it was the first independent film to be nominated for an Academy Award. But that wasn't the thing that we were most proud of. The film El Norte made such an impact in the country that it was directly responsible for the United States granting protective status to refugees from Central America 
resulting in the saving of thousands of lives. And that will never happen. And that would never have happened if it hadn't been for the vision of Sandra Schulberg. You see, because the early independent filmmakers, it wasn't about achieving commercial success or artistic success. It was our primary goal. What we wanted to do was to change hearts and minds and to affect social change in the United States. You know, the organization that Sandra founded, and then the offshoot organizations that were born as a result of the IFP, which includes Film Independent and Film North, have been responsible from, that early, from those early days, it has continued, having helped over 30,000 film projects and new generations of independent filmmakers like Barry Jenkins and Ava DuVernay and Richard Linkletter and Dee Reese. And Sandra continues to work for independent film. She has founded Indie Collect, an organization dedicated to preserving independent film that are in danger of having been lost. One of these films, my film, El Norte, was restored by the Academy Archive. And in fact, it will be shown at this year's Berlinale on February 14th. So I want to thank you, Sandra, personally, for everything that you did for me as a filmmaker and for all those people whose lives you helped save. I want to thank you from the bottom of the hearts of all independent filmmakers from that early generation of American independence down to today. The independent film movement you founded was so much more than about financial independence. It was about independence of ideas, independence of heart, and an independent spirit that you gave life to that continues today in the United States and throughout the world. Viva Sandra Schulberg! But I want to say that this is the fifth year that we have a um, camera in the European film market, which is an idea of Dieter a couple of years ago, because he said it would be great to have one of the Berlinale cameras for somebody from the industry given in the market to honor the outstanding work of many people in the industry that we uh, can make time and space for <coughs> during the festival. I give you this uh, in honor um, of everything you have done. And um, also in honor of, uh, as a member of one of the greatest um, <laughs> Film families in uh, Hollywood history. So, so this was just for the camera. In everything what you have done uh, for us, and also for to be together and uh, produce in friendship and be not only partners uh, in crime at the film business, also be people who really like each other. Thank you very much. Thank you.